Hi everyone, welcome back to the last task in this room, task number 10, Fishing Practical. Now that you've learned what goes into a phishing email campaign, let's see if you're able to spot them. Click the green view site button to launch the phishing test website, examine each email including where it's from, its links and attachments, and decide whether you think the email is safe or not. So we're going to click this view site button right here. Um, so take a look at this below email and decide whether you think the email is a phishing email or whether it looks safe. So we have Google support here at support at google.com. Um, so far so good. Hello, it has come to our attention that your account may have been accessed by a third party. Please log in and change your password here. Many thanks, Google support. Now, the the uh, actual URL, myaccount.google.com slash sign in options password, we hover over it and it's, saying it's still the same. If we were to try to click on that, I wonder if this actually opens up anything. Probably not. And that looks so I see. So this is showing Google.com and this was saying Google support, which means it's a see that down there, that URL, I would point that out. But it looks like this is not safe because it's giving us a different URL. So I'm gonna say this is a phishing email. Correct answer. All right, that was a phishing email. Click the show issues why, and uh, yep, that's exactly it. It was a uh, it was taking us to a different website. Uh, take a look at the email below. Blah, blah, blah. The address these emails usually come from is from accounts at the banking group thm, and this is the accounts. I see they're missing a G right here out of the gate. Um. So it looks like and they also are giving us a looks like an uh, XLSX, which is a Excel sheet, uh, which would oh sorry open up an Excel, but it also could be full of malicious macros. So I'm definitely going to say this is a phishing email. Yep. Yep. And again, that was a misspelling of the domain name. Again, it's missing that G there because this should be the banking group, and this is just, it's missing that G. It's the banking group. And uh, the name of the, yep, again, that looks suspicious as well. Um, no reply at trysupport.com. Hello, we haven't seen you in a while. Click here to keep on hacking. So let's just try hack me. I mean, this, this looks fine. So I'm going to say this looks safe, although I'm probably, <laughs> probably going to be wrong. Oh, there we go. It is right. You're right. This isn't a phishing email. Sometimes companies have a separate domain name for sending emails, but the links still go back to the official website. Um, obviously <laughs> this jumps right out at me as fake. I don't even, <laughs> I mean, hello, I've attached this report you've asked for. Please don't show this to anyone. Um, you know, it always goes back to, they want to, they want to get your curiosity peak. So you, you start clicking on stuff. Um, you're right. This is a phishing email. Click the show issues and don't trust PDF profile attachment that, that are not tr from a trusted source or unexpected as they could contain malware. Um, cool. And there is our flag. And there we go, my friends. This room is completed. Uh, thank you so much if you watched all the videos or even just watched uh, this video in particular. Uh, if Again, if you would like to see me try any of these other rooms and try Hack Me or you just want to get in touch with me with, for about anything, uh, please always feel free. Um, you can either comment down in the uh, in the in the below the video or reach out to me on Twitter. Um, I will also have all my links in these videos as well. Uh, again, thank you very much, and thank you to Try Hack Me, and thank you to uh, Adam Langley for for creating this this uh, room. And uh, I will see. You, uh, I will start. I will keep making more of these videos, and uh, I will see you all out there. Thank you very much. Bye bye.